Hi, this is Earth Seven Sweet Pea, better known as Rachel. I'm coming to um, YT Land today. Um, heavy on my heart, some things I just want to share. Um, I'm talking to the um, kingdom-minded people. I'm talking to them that just got to know Christ. I'm talking to them that don't even know Him. They don't even have a clue. And I'm talking to those that heard about Christ. They've gone to church. They've heard the word. Grandma has prayed for them and talked to them. I'm talking to everybody. This is on my heart, honey. And I just wanted to share this because God gave it to me. And now I'm going to share it. Um, we all start out on some kind of journey on, on, in the new year. If it's weight loss, makeup. Some people even, you know, they're doing all kinds of stuff. New jobs. Start businesses. Um, and then there is a group. <laughs> and I got to say it. They start out fasting for 21 days. And it's awesome. Because they're expecting something awesome from Jesus. From God. Whoever you call him. The Prince of Peace. Yeshua. They're expecting something awesome. And I have to say I'm expecting something awesome. I'm looking for awesome things this year in my life. I'm, God spoke a word to me. He said, I'm turning the tables on the devil. And I'm working in your faith. He, I was in prayer and he said, I'm turning the tables on the devil. And I'm working in your faith. And I, so, I was so, so, so into the presence of God and loving on God. And he said that to me. And that's all week I've been feasting off it. I've been rejoicing on it. I, I just, oh my goodness. I started reading this book before the new year came in. And um, it's by Tommy Tenner. Anybody know him? An awesome worshiper. Um, awesome ministry. Awesome books he's made. Um, he did one about um, God's favorite house. And I've been reading it. And all he's talking about is we as an individual... Let us build a house that God is favoring. Build a mercy seat. Learn to be a worshiper and seeking God in the fullness. That's how we're going to get the things that we need from God spiritually. If we seek Him daily in worshiping Him and exalting Him and magnifying him na His name and making His name great, make Him the complete center of your life. That's what this book is talking about. Then we can get things done. Because we've learned not just to praise Him and holler and scream. But we've learned how to completely worship God. And that's it. Making Him the ultimate one in our life. And that's where I'm at this year, YT. I am making a declaration that He is going to be completely first among anything else. I want to get so close to him like never before. And I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. Making ourselves a poured out vessel this year. We've been preached to. We've been taught to. We've been sang to, prayed to, prayed for, laid hands on us, prophesied to. We've studied. We've gotten fat off the word. We've fasted, and we've done all that. Let us this year be a poured out vessel. That's what I'm aiming for this year, to be a poured out vessel. I've been poured into. He allowed people to minister to me, talk to me, and do all kinds of things. Bless me. And I'm like, you know what, Lord? Help me to be a poured out vessel. I've heard some last year on YT say, pay forward. I had a couple girls starting out on my YT journey and having a hair loss and learning to wear wigs. I'm a stay home at mom. Don't I'm on disability. Don't have much as other. And they poured out on me with wigs. Somebody may say, Ew, do what you want to do. But they did. They had enough love in their heart and said, I'll help a sister out. And I thank them for that. And so that's where I'm at. You can say it paid and forward, but I'm calling it poured out. That's all.
I want to be a poured out vessel. I've been poured in and poured into and poured into, and I have made my mind up. I want to be a poured out vessel. I've been praying, God, you show me, completely show me my purpose and destiny, why you kept me here. Because I have a testimony, and I'm going to tell it. I, there will be another video. I, 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 this is the way I'm starting my year out. I, you're going to find out on this channel, I'm real, I'm direct, I can be funny, I love makeup, I love clothes and jewelry, and I love some hair. But my goal is to let people know I love Jesus, and Jesus loves you. And that's where I'm at. This is video, it's, it's, it's about that. Being a poured out vessel. And I'm asking and I'm encouraging. Because William McDowell has his song out. Poured out. And that's what I've been praying. Use me, Lord, wherever you want to use me. Wherever you want to send me, send me. This is the way I'm starting my year out. Not bless me, Lord, bless me, Lord, give me, Lord, give me, Lord. I'm seeking even the more for the heart of God. David was a man after God's own heart. Can we be a woman, a man after God's own heart this year and there on? Can we start a journey saying, God, I want your heart, not your hand. I don't bring my prayer list agenda to you, but I bring worship to you. God loves when you praise him, praising him for what he's done, thanking him for what he's done and what he's going to give you. But can we become a worshiper? Just because he's God, I love you, Jesus. That's what God is looking for this season in our in, in this season in the body of Christ. He's looking for people that say, just because you're God, I'm gonna worship you. If you don't give me another car, another home, another piece of jewelry, another palette for makeup, you never give me another sweat, another boot, another heel, another stiletto, you're still God. So, because you have more than enough, you got to bless abundantly last year, why not be a poured out vessel? Because there's someone besides the church, because can we be a wall, a church without walls this year? Let's be a church without walls. We bless the kingdom, the church in itself. But let's bless the kingdom. The kingdom is them that are outside of the church. Them that are in the highways and hedges. Because he told us, go in the highways and hedges and compel the people. If we're in the church, how are we going to compel the people? we got to go outside the walls and compel the people. So I'm saying, if you call it paid in forward, forward, or you call it an outpouring, you are an outpouring vessel. Do it unto the Lord this year. Not looking for anything in return. Because there are people waiting for a word outside of the walls of the church. There's someone need makeup that you have gotten blessed abundantly outside the walls. Or some earrings or a sweater or a skirt or a jacket outside of the walls. Let's be an outpouring vessel this year. Well, where will I find myself this year? Lead, guide me, and direct me to where I need to be an outpoured vessel outside of the church walls. Make me a church without walls this year. If, excuse me. If it's the homeless shelter, if it's the abuse shelter, if it's the pregnancy center, if it's on the street corner, being a poured out vessel this year is what God is looking for. He's looking for a people after his heart this year. So I encourage you this year, be an outpoured vessel. If it's a phone call, some people may not be blessed abundant with makeup and with materialistic things and, and cars and money and all that stuff. But I have learned sitting in this wheelchair, my smile has gone farther than anything and I didn't even know it. It may be a hug. It may be a phone call. It may be a sister or brother or a young or the old on YT. Just need some encouragement. They may be going through some things and they may not desire to share, but God has showed you their heart and say, go encourage them. It may be the neighbor next door. It may be a meal. Just be a poured out vessel this year. 
Because we've gotten fat off Jesus long enough. We've got blessed all these giving gifts. Be a poured out vessel. And that's where my heart is. And again, God told me, he said, I'm turning the table on the devil. And I'm working in your face. And I say that to somebody today. God is turning the tables on the devil. And he's working in your face. It's almost to be over. It's all going to be over. Because he's turning the tables on the devil. And he's working in your face. Be encouraged today, my sister, my friend, my brother. Be encouraged today. And if you don't know Jesus, it's simple. Ask him to come into your heart and change your life. And take on the characteristics of Jesus. Wash you from all of your sins. Because he died. And he rose again with all power and pain. That he could get us saved and delivered. It's sweet and simple. Just accept him in your heart. And ask him to clean your life up. That you can walk pure and holy in him. And learn the love that he has for you. Because he loves you. And I love you too. My sister, my brother, my friend. I love you. So today, if you don't know Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart and show you the way. God bless you. I love you. Thank God for it. Mm -hmm.